proceedings are concluded. This court is adjourned. If all this shit I did for this motherfucking company, you. You ever had a great idea stolen from you and didn't know how to go about getting justice? In Charles Ford's The Anatomy of a Corporate Lynching, he takes us behind the scenes of his public copyright and civil rights lawsuit against his employer, Con Edison. In this explosive page turner, Ford writes of an idea he submitted being taken and used without credit or compensation. In a book where no names have been changed to protect the guilty, Ford details how he stood his ground legally against theft and racial discrimination. Ford's exploration of a corporate lynching attempt inspires readers to pursue justice and fight back legally in the face of corporate opposition and retaliation. The Anatomy of a Corporate Lynching is available on Amazon Worldwide in paperback and on Kindle. Find Ford at author Charles Ford on Instagram. the afro country singer and dei professional you can connect with me right here on youtube at such a music i'll put a link in the description and thank you for watching the african diaspora news channel i am so thrilled to be here with you today so have you ever had people be like surprised that you are black and smart or black and well spoken or black and country <laughs> Well, I have that happen to me a lot. In fact, many years ago, um, I, when I lived in Mississippi, I asked my friend Shamara to teach me how to sing like her. That girl can sing. She's got a voice. Lord Jesus. Um, so she tried her best to teach me how to sing like her. And I tried my very best to sing like her. But she kept saying, oh, honey, you sound so country. And I was like, no. No, I don't want to sound country. I want to sound like you. Teach me how to sing like you. And no matter how hard I tried, she kept saying, Honey, it's okay. You sound so country and you do a lot of country things too. It's okay to be country. Just embrace it. And I was like, huh? Really? Am I really country? So the engineer in me will not believe it unless I had the data to back it up. So I went around town like a little detective doing my informal um, interviews, asking people if they thought of themselves as country, and if so, what made them country. I put the data together, analyzed it, and bingo. It turns out I'm 87.39% country. I was like, what? <laughs> anyway, so voila, my song Black Country Girl was born I decided to put it in writing you know celebrating authenticity and embracing cultures and just embracing the different sides of me regardless of what boxes I am expected to fit within and you know at the time I thought you know it was an oxymoron for me to be black and country that's why I was like no I don't want to sound country but little did I know that even though we tend to think country is a white people thing it actually has some of its roots in African music little did I know about all the black influencers and contributors to country music uh, history and culture little did i know that our dear famous john wayne was actually a whitewashed version of baz reeves who was a black man little did i know that one fourth of all the cowboys and cowgirls back in the old west were actually black people little did i know of all the contributions of black women and other people of color in the in 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 in, in 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 the culture of the old white west i didn't know all those things and i didn't also know our own modern influences black influences of country music and culture and i know the black rodeos all over town right i didn't know about all this i didn't know about mickey guy and Reese palmer charlie pride i didn't know all these people <laughs> so lo and behold it turns out being a black country girl isn't actually an oxymoron. It just appears that way due to the lack of representation of black people in country music culture and history. Yeah, we get in there and do all the work, but our stories never get told, our faces never get seen when we're talking about this, these, these cultures and this history, or when we never get put on stage, you know, when it comes to the music. So that is why on National Oxymoron Day, I am launching an authenticity challenge. Woohoo! So it's all about showcasing our complexities, you know, showcasing 
um, the our, our, our multifaceted abilities and identities and using that to inspire curiosity and build bridges and defy stereotypes, right? We want to be able to, um, I hope that through this challenge, we can think about um, three main things. One is what oxymorons do we embody because society has told us so that we are oxymorons like for me um i was expected to just be a nerd because i was smart in school you know i was expected to just stick to engineering <laughs> and all that um and i would get ridiculed for laugh for for i would get lit ridiculed every time i tried to sing or dance or do anything artistic because i was supposed to fit in this box of a of a nerd and also think about what are some boxes that you've put yourselves in what are some what are some shells that we've put over ourselves to protect us from maybe a horrible situation we were going through right um i realize that sometimes a shell i put over myself is not to be um outspoken and, and to dim my light you know to keep people around me comfortable so that i can keep my job or so that you know i can i can i can i can keep the peace and you know that's that's a that's a box that someone has to fit in sometimes in order to survive. But let's re-examine those boxes, you know, like what, what, what aspects of ourselves are we holding back because we're trying to survive? Those boxes are not supposed to be forever. They might have protected us for a little period, but if we keep them forever, it's going to make us miss out on life. So let's re-examine some of our boxes. And I know there was a time when I went through a lot of trauma and a huge part of my healing was really being able to come out of the shell and recognize those boxes I had adopted and put around me um, to, to be able to cope with the situations and then break out of them um, and embrace my full self, living a much richer life. So let's think about that, what boxes we need to examine. Also, let's think about um, what, oxy, what actual oxymorons we live in in society as black people. I know we know so many. I mean, 4th of July is one, you know, the country claiming to be the land of the free and the home of the brave and all that is okay with shooting its black citizens as second class uh, citizens. We are all too familiar with the with, uh, with how that oxymoron even led to Fre Frederick Douglass' um, 1853 speech. Um, about you know what 4th of July means to the Negro and by the way I do speak about this more in, in, in my other video when 4th of July meets Juneteenth so you should go check it out I'll put a link in the description as well so as, as black people we know the many many oxymorons <laughs> of the society that we're living in the people claiming to be wanting freedom and liberty and so on but they only but wanting freedom and liberty to deprive other people of their freedom and liberty so um Anyway, there's many, but think about those. So, how do we participate in this challenge? Well, it will be on social media, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want. So, I want you, and you'd be using the hashtag um, Authenticity Challenge, a Black Country Girl Challenge, and Defying Stereotypes. So, I want you to think of the acronym CCCY. So, that sounds for show it, sing it, say it, or write it. So you could do a video while playing Black Country Girl, my song in the background. I'm talking about your quote unquote oxymorons. Or you could use the instrumental of my song, Black Country Girl, and you could use the chorus of it and just sing your own lyrics to your own oxymoron. Um, that would be wonderful to hear. Uh, or you can just say it, you know, talk about it. Or you can show it through some other means using a video or using pictures, contrasting pictures side by side or something. You all are brilliant. You know how to do this stuff. Just make sure you use the right hashtags and the right music for the background for the challenge. Um, or you can also just write it. You can write about it on social media. It could be a one, a one sentence or two sentences or a whole paragraph or story illustrating what some of the quote unquote oxymorons are, embracing those other parts of yourself that you normally may not even talk about or that society tends to think you should, um, you should hide. Anyway, you can also art it. Like over here, I have this uh, fridge magnet saying, authentically me all the way such at a black country girl so um you could art it you can make a piece of art or some merch or whatever so yeah absolutely i am looking forward to hearing all your stories i'm also offering um uh um 
a few prizes to I'm going to pick a few people who participate in the challenge and offer a few prizes to them, including free virtual performances. Or if you happen to be local, a free local performance if you're local here in San Diego um, and some merchandise. So go ahead and participate. I am so looking forward to hearing your stories and let's get out there and subvert expectations. Remember, you can connect with me here on YouTube at Such a Music and you can um, also join my street team of authentic music fans and bridge builders by going to go.blackcountrygirl.com I would also include that link in the description below now remember if you have not yet subscribed to the African Diaspora News channel please go ahead and do so like comment subscribe and share and I'm so excited to catch up with you until next time ciao if you are over the age of 35 stop everything you're doing right now after a lifetime of eating fatty foods, you may run the risks of a stroke or heart attack due to plaque buildup in your veins and arteries. To learn how you can reduce your risks, visit youthfountainlab.com or call 1-800-853-7856 today. This may be a life-changing call for you or someone you love. Thank you and we hope to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store.